We start with the preview for the second day of the Calcutta Cold Weather Season 2018-19. We go on to the first race of the card, which will be the Kariba Handicap. A handicap for horse rated 1-26. to To be ridden by jockeys of Indian nationality. To be run over a distance of 1,200 meters. Number one will be Archie Volt. Archie Wolf just had one start in the Monsoon meeting in race number 52 over 1,200 metres where Archie Fold finished on uh, towards the back end of the field to finish on 8th. Winner of that race was tomorrow forever. Number 3 will be Gizba. Gizba's had one start this uh, season in race number 1 over 1,100 metres where Gizba finished on 6th. Also in the same race we had number 4, Aimi and myself who uh, made it a pillar to post victory and went on to win that race by about 2 lengths was Aimi and myself. Also in the same race we had number 6, Major Colours who finished on 5th and number 14, Royal 1 who finished on 8th. The eventual winner of that race as I said was Aimi and myself. Number five will be Hurricane Storm. Hurricane Storm's last outing was in race number 135 in the monsoon meeting over five and a half furlongs where Hurricane Storm finished on right at the back end of the field to finish on 12th. The winner of that race was Tana. Number seven will be Beatrix. Beatrix last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 110 over 1800 meters where Beatrix finished on fifth and the winner of that race was Smith & Wesson who absolutely blew the field away that day and won that race by about five and a half lengths. Number eight will be Wiserion. Wiserion's last outing was quite an impressive one in race number 134 in the monsoon meeting over five and a half furlongs where Wiserion turned into the straight, traveling four horses wide and eventually traveled very wide of the track in the final stages of the race and finished on board and uh, finished third. And the winner of that race was Shania Spett. Also in the same race, we had number 10, Dark Angel, who finished on fifth and number 13, Curtis, who finished on seventh. Number nine will be Glamorous Glory. Glamorous Glory's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 126 over 1,200 meters where Glamorous Glory finished ninth. Also in the same race, we had number 12, Solaris, who finished on a close fourth. And uh, the winner of that race was Diamond Harbor, who won that race just by about a half a length. Number 11 will be Zena. Zena's had three starts in the monsoon meeting, last one being in race number 119 over 1400 meters where Zena traveled very wide of the track and eventually finished on fourth was Zena. And the winner of that race was Hale the Queen who came up with a strong run and came on to win that race by about two and a quarter lengths. We move on to the second race of the card, which will be the Artwork Handicap, to be run over a distance of 1,200 meters. Number one will be Mellow Fellow. Mellow Fellow's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 137, over 1,200 meters, where Mellow Fellow finished on third. Also in the same race, we had number 11, Alien, who finished on fifth. And uh, the winner of that race was Rustler, who came up with a strong run on the outside and went on to win that race by about a length and a half. Number two will be multi-value. Multi-value's last outing was in uh, the monsoon meeting in race number 98 over 1400 meters where multi-value finished on fifth. Also in the same race we had number five, Simon Templer, who was the eventual winner of that race and uh, won that race by about three parts of a length by beating Alien, who came up with a late run. Number three will be Millennium Glory. Millennium Glory's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 115 over 1,200 meters where Millennium Glory finished on third and uh, the winner of that race was Nomi. Number four will be Lady Two. 
Lady 2's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 96 over 1100 meters where Lady 2 really fought out hard and sprung a surprise by winning at long odds was Lady 2 who won that race by about three parts of a length. Also in the same race we had number 9 that was uh, born to win who finished on... Uh, I beg your pardon, number 9, Gloria Sleeps, who finished on 5th. And number 12, Born to Win, who finished on 4th. Number 6 will be Outrider. Outrider's last outing was in the monsoon meeting where Outrider got left at the gates. And that was it for Outrider on that day. And the winner of that race was Luminac. Number 7 will be Scarlet Emperor. Scarlet Emperor's last outing was this uh, season in the Calcutta cold weather season in race number 7. Uh, just last week, over five and a half furlongs, where Scarlet Emperor finished on seventh, and the winner of that race was Tana. Number eight will be Alisa. Alisa's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 79 over 1400 meters which is the Calcutta Phillies trial stakes and Alisa came up with a late run in the final stages of the race and finished on third couldn't match strides to the winner who was exception. Number 10 will be Tiburon. Tiburon's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 135 over 1100 meters where Tiburon finished on a faraway third and the winner of that race was Tana. Number 13 will be Uncrowned King. Uncrowned King's last outing was in the monsoon meeting over 1400 meters in race number 128 where uncrowned king finished on third and the winner of that race was hudson and now uh, uncrowned king runs 200 meters less over a distance of 1200 meters we gotta wait and watch as to what uncrowned king has in store for us we move on to the third race which is the arabian rose handicap to be run over a distance of 1100 meters number one will be perfect balance Perfect balance last outing was an impressive one in the monster meeting over five and a half furlongs in race number 122 where perfect balance fought out with Stunner in the final stages of the rails and perfect balance being on the uh, inside of the track and finished on uh, as the winner by beating uh, Stunner by about a long neck. Number two will be Dave Flower. Dave Flower's last outing in the monsoon meeting in race number 121 over 1100 meters finished on second. One and a half lengths behind the winner who was Praiser Gaze who was just too good that day. Number three will be Dancing Prince. Dancing Prince, this uh, last outing was this season in race number two, which was just last week, over 1,200 meters, where Dancing Prince finished on right at the back end of the field to finish on 11th. Also in the same race, we had number five, Jorel, who finished on 10th. And number 10 uh, was uh, Happy Returns, who finished on 12th. Also in the same race, we had number 12, Shania Spett, who finished on 9th. And the eventual winner of that race was Tomorrow Forever. Number four will be Divine Magic. Divine Magic's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 84 over 1100 meters where Divine, Divine Magic finished on 11th. Also in the same race we had number 14 that was uh, Edria who finished on 9th and the eventual winner of that race was Rising from Ashes. Number six will be Romanov. Romanov's last outing was an impressive one in the monsoon meeting. Just had two starts in the monsoon meeting. And the last one, as I said, was an impressive one in race number 120 over 1100 meters where Romanov went on to win that race by about a long neck by beating Oakbrook who came up with a late run but couldn't match strides with uh, the winner. That was Romanov. Number seven will be Gimme Credit. Gimme Credit's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 135 over 1100 meters where Gimme Credit finished on eighth and the winner of that race was Tana. Number eight will be the kiss. 
The kiss's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 56 over 1100 meters where the kiss finished uh, right at the back end of the field to finish out uh, finish on 6th out of 6 and the winner of that race was Eastern Star an impressive winner that day. Number 9 will be Warpath. Warpath's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 65 over 1200 meters where Warpath finished on 11th. The winner of that race was Bojangles who came up with a late run on the outside and went on to win that race by about a long neck. Number 11 will be looking good. Looking good just had one start this season just last week in race number 4 over 1400 meters where looking good uh, finished on 6th had the red winkers on was looking good and the winner of that race was Demonstrate. Number 13 will be Tangaluma. Tangaluma's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 134 over 1100 meters where Tangaluma finished on fourth and the winner of that race was Shania Spett who went on to win that race by about a length and a half. We move on to the fourth race of the afternoon, the Romantic Notes Handicap, a class 2 affair for uh, horses rated 61 to 86, rated 41 to 66, eligible to be run over a distance of 1100 meters. We have two runners we are looking at here, number one Kramer and number four Simran's Choice. Uh, this is the run we are looking on this season in race number six. Kramer finished uh, on fifth, however led the field for a while. The winner there was Eastern Star and Sim Simran's Choice was in mid-pack. Finished on with a late bit, finished on third. Number two is Akshaya. Akshaya was in second in race number 93 in the monsoon season and uh, was leading the field uh, till 200 meters. However, weakened. The winner there was Shivesh and Akshaya finished on fourth, about four lengths uh, from the winner. Next up, we are looking at number three, uh, Shanshion, that is in race number 40 in the monsoon season. Uh, was second as the horses turned for home. However, the winner Splash Proof came on with a late bit and uh, Ascension we we weakened to finish on fourth, about two and a half, three lengths from the winner. We are looking at three runners here, number five, Nobu, number uh, six, Nomi, and number eight, uh, Leopard Creek. Nomu uh, was the eventual winner of this race, uh, was in fourth position handy and uh, made a, a forward move on the outside and uh, beat Nomi who fought on. However, no move was uh, too good for that day. Leopard Creek was in the rear of the field and didn't make much progress. Finished on 6th of 12 runners and the winner there was Nobu. Number 7 is Knighthood. Knighthood was the winner here in uh, race number 100 in uh, the monsoon season. Knighthood came up with a late bid on the outside while Shear Force was leading and uh, lunge at the post and won it by the closest margin of a neck. We move on to the feature event of the day which will be the Hilliard Cup. The fifth race in the card uh, to be run over a distance of 1400 meters. Number one will be Exodus. Exodus's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 138 over 2000 meters where Exodus finished on third. In the same race we had uh, number five Multi Glory who finished on seventh and number ten uh, No More Politics who finished on sixth. The eventual winner of that race was Shivalik Shahs. Number two will be Mogadishu. Mogadishu's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 95 over 1800 meters where Mogadishu was uh, traveling second uh, all the way but eventually faded out to finish on fifth and uh, the same race we had number seven Captain Cook who finished on seventh. Winner of that race was Catman who just got it at the post. Number three will be Interstellar. 
Interstellar's last outing was in race number 101 over 1400 meters in the monsoon meeting where Interstellar finished on sixth. Also in the same race we had number four that is Gloaming who finished on very wide of the track to finish on fifth and the eventual winner of that race was uh, Amorous White who got that race by about a long neck. Number six will be Shivalik Story. Shivalik Story's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race time 131 over 1200 meters after real rigorous riding. Shivalik Story finished on eighth. Also in the same race, we had number eight, Commander, who finished on fifth. But the eventual winner of that race was Kopernikus, who came up with a rattle on the outside and went on to win that race. We move on to the sixth race of the day, which will be the Touch of Silver Handicap to be run over a distance of 1,600 meters. Number one will be El Cid. El Cid's last outing was in the monsoon meeting over 2,000 meters in race number 125, where El Cid uh, was uh, leading the pack in the final stages of the race, but was overtaken by the winner, who was Jester, and finished uh, five lengths behind the winner was El Cid. Also in the same race, we had number six, Michaela, who was amongst the front runners, but eventually faded out to finish on fourth. Winner as that race, as the, of that race was Jester. Number two will be Farsight. Farsight's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 139 over 1400 meters where Farsight uh, finished on a faraway sixth. Also in the same race we had number three Raksharki who finished on fifth. The winner of that race was Eternally. Number four will be Lokinwa. Lokinwa's last outing was not an impressive one in the monsoon meeting in race number 77 over 1200 meters where Lokinwa finished ninth, almost detached from the field was Lokinwa. The winner of that race was Bang Bang. Number five will be Prince of Heart. Prince of Heart's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 114 over 1400 meters where Prince of Heart finished on sixth and the winner of that race was Luminac who won that race very impressively. Number seven will be Devotion. Devotion's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race time 124 over 1400 meters where Devotion finished on as the winner of that race and fought out really hard was Devotion on the rail side and won that race by about a head beating Lumos. Number eight will be Rising from Ashes. Rising from Ashes as last outing was in race number 113 in the monsoon meeting and over 1600 meters where Rising from Ashes absolutely blew the field away to win that race by about four lengths by beating Fiorel. Number nine will be Jordana. Jordana's last outing was just last week in, uh, this season in race number five over 1400 meters where Jordana finished on seventh and the winner of that race was Adwika who went on to win that race by about a neck. Number 10 will be Flying Cloud. Flying Cloud just had one start in the monsoon meeting and uh, over 1600 meters Oh, in race number 108 and Flying Cloud won that race by about one and a quarter lengths by beating Raksharki. Number 11 will be Mahali. Mahali's just had one start in the monsoon meeting in race number 35 over 1600 meters uh, where Mahali finished on second two and a half lengths behind the winner who was uh, Friendship who won that race quite impressively. Mahali Mi Midnight Interlude out of Ali Serenade is Mahali. We move on to the seventh and last race of the day, which will be the So Amazing Handicap. 
to be run over a distance of 1600 meters. Number one will be City Heights. City Heights' last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 132 over 2000 meters, where City Heights came in with the front bunch of runners in the final stages of the race, but finished on fifth was City Heights in the same race we had number five. That was Cool Conqueror who finished on fourth, and the winner of that race was Fiorel. Number two will be Hail the Queen. Hail the Queen's last outing was this season in uh, race number four, which is just last week, over 1,400 meters, where Hail the Queen finished on eighth. Also in the same race, we had number seven, Indus Prince, who finished on 14th. Right at the back end of the field was Indus Prince. The eventual winner of that race was Demonstrate. Number three will be Saberjet. Saberjet's uh, running after a long layoff. Just had one start in the monsoon meeting in race number 45 towards the early stages of the season where Saberjet ran over 1,400 meters and went on to win that race by a one and a three quarter lengths by beating Orion was Saberjet. Number four will be Blaze to Glory. Blaze to Glory's last outing was this season in race number two, over 1,200 meters, where Blaze to Glory finished very wide of the track and finished on sixth, and the winner of that race was Tomorrow Forever. Number six will be Yuvan. Yuvan's last outing was in the monster meeting in race number 127, over 1,400 meters, where Yuvan finished on third, and the winner of that race was Arjuna, who won that race very impressively by about three lengths. Number eight will be Princess Elena. Princess Elena's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 82 over 1400 meters where Princess Elena came up with a strong run on the outside and went on to win that race by about two lengths by beating Zara Go Zara. Number nine will be Bambini Festa. Bambini Festa's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 89 over 2,000 meters where Bambini Festa finished on 6th and the winner of that race was Jesta who travelled very wide of the track and went on to win that race by about a one length and a quarter. And the last one for the day will be Super Chick. Super Chick's last outing was in the monsoon meeting in race number 128 over 1400 meters where Super Chick finished on 10th right at the back end of the field and the winner of that race was Hudson who won that race by about two lengths quite impressively. Thank you.